And it's hard to believe it's only been a week since we, uh, since we had our first case of COVID-19 here in Saskatchewan, and already our lives have changed in so many ways. Uh, for me, I'm not at the legislature anymore. I'm here in my office in Saskatoon uh, doing social distancing as we try to make sure that we're, we're not helping spread the virus. All of our lives are changing in so many ways. Schools are closed. Some daycares are closed. More should be. Uh, businesses are closing, and we want to make sure that they are able to open again when this passes. People are practicing social distancing and, and doing a good job. Uh, the people of Saskatchewan are really stepping up to try to help and flatten the curve. Healthcare providers are, are run off their feet, working so hard to get ready for when the first sick patients arrive in clinics and hospitals. And people are trying to figure out how to take the steps in their own lives to protect themselves as well as to make ends meet, because people are truly worried right now. Already, our economy was under a lot of a lot of pressure. Right now, people are very stressed, not sure how they'll make ends meet during this difficult time. That's why uh, we really need the supports coming from the provincial government. We need a financial aid package that puts money in the pockets of, of regular people, helps keep Saskatchewan small businesses afloat during this time and helps create a plan for an economic stimulus so that once this is all over, we can have a lift instead of a recession. My job during all of this is to keep pointing out what we can do and what we can do better. And this is work that we're all doing as an MLA caucus and, and that we can all do as the people of this province, supporting each other, trying to make sure that we're doing social distancing right so we flatten that curve supporting the healthcare workers that are, are stepping up on the front lines to help treat people who do get ill and trying to make sure that that uh, financial aid package comes through as we continue to, to push the government for the right kinds of investments in, in all of us right now. And so my ask to you as, uh, as leader of the NDP is please be reaching out to each other in new ways. Please share these videos, share your own messages of support for each other, if there's someone in your community that you can help, someone who maybe is older or has a, has a health problem and shouldn't be going out for groceries, maybe you could pick some up for them as well. Or maybe there's a healthcare worker in your life who's got children and doesn't want to take them to a daycare to risk further exposure. Maybe you could sign up to help watch those kids once in a while, obviously being really careful with contact precautions and all the safety measures necessary. There are lots of ways in this difficult time that we can work together. And Saskatchewan has an opportunity. We still are, although the virus is here, we're starting to have community transmission. It's very much a real thing in Saskatchewan. We're still early on where our choices today and tomorrow and the coming days will have a huge impact on how many people get sick and, and just how well our healthcare system is able to, uh, to handle everybody who is affected by COVID-19. So let's work together to make Saskatchewan a success story through this. We need to stay apart, but we can still work together. And uh, thanks so much for all you're doing to do exactly that already.